Hey there, today I'm diving into one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in human history, the South North Water Diversion Project in China. This $62 billion plan aims to transform the landscape of water distribution across the country. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty of this colossal undertaking. China's geography is pretty fascinating. The country spans multiple climate zones from the arid deserts in the west to the lush fertile plains in the east. The problem? Most of China's water resources are in the south, but a significant chunk of its population and agricultural land is in the north. Enter the South North Water Diversion Project, the solution to this geographical conundrum. The project is split into three main routes, the eastern route, the central route, and the western route. Let's start with the eastern route. This route taps into the Yangtze River using a series of canals, tunnels, and pumping stations to move water northward. It's the oldest route, and it was designed to primarily benefit the cities and industries along its path. Next up, the central route. This one is a bit more dramatic. It begins at the Danjiangku Reservoir on the Han River, a major tributary of the Yangtze. This route transports water through a series of canals and tunnels right up to Beijing and Tianjin, two of China's largest and thirstiest cities. The central route is key because it directly supports the capital region. Now, the western route. This one is still in the planning stages and is the most challenging of them all. It involves diverting water from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and its tributaries across the high-altitude Qinghai-Tibet Plateau. The goal is to bring water to the arid northwest regions, but with its complex terrain and sensitive ecosystems, this route poses significant engineering and environmental hurdles. Speaking of challenges, let's talk about the complications of diverting water on such a massive scale. Firstly, there's the issue of displacement. Over 300,000 people had to be relocated to make way for the construction of reservoirs and canals. Then there's the sheer scale of infrastructure needed, billions of cubic meters of earth moved, and thousands of kilometers of canals built. Environmental impacts are another big concern. Diverting water affects the ecosystems along the routes. For instance, reducing water flow in the Yangtze can impact fish populations and wetlands downstream. There's also the issue of water quality. Moving water over long distances can lead to contamination from industrial and agricultural runoff. So where does the project stand today? The eastern and central routes are operational and have already transferred billions of cubic meters of water to the north. However, the western route remains in the planning phase due to its significant technical and environmental challenges. In conclusion, China's South-North Water Diversion Project is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. While it comes with its fair share of complications and environmental concerns, it's a crucial step towards ensuring water security for one of the world's most populous nations. Thanks for tuning in! If you enjoyed this deep dive into China's Water Diversion Project, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more geography content. Catch you in the next one!